What's going on guys? It's your boy Brahmin here bringing you another game called Lamp Light Light? What it what? Lamp Light City. I don't know why I do that kind of stuff. I just fuck up every time I try to do the intro. But anyways, hopefully you are all doing well today. We're just gonna get straight into this game. See what this is all about. And yeah, it seems like uh like an oldie steampunk kind of game. Um Hopefully the volume of the game is not too loud. I'll shut up here. Uh, you good, my dude? You good? Rough night. Wake up, sunshine. Bill, wake up. The carriage is on fire. We all know who, who I'm gonna pick. Bill, wake up. The carriage is on fire. Yo, yo. <laughs> That's only funny when I do it to you. Ah. Uh, what's the matter? Have a rough night? Ah. Uh, Bit too much Bowlingworth ale is all. That stuff really creeps up on you. Sorry I couldn't join you, but I was long overdue for a quiet night in with Addy. That's fine. There'll be plenty of other opportunities. <laughs> Hell, maybe Adelaide can even join us. It's been ages since she last drank me under the table. I'm oh, afraid she mm. mostly sticks to tea these days. Miles, what exactly is it we're looking into? Uh, I may have dozed off during the briefing. <laughs> You sleep through the briefings? Captain Snelling is going to notice one of these days. What does it say? You sleep? you sleep through the briefings? Sure. It's really not that difficult. Snelling's monotonous drone. I'm gonna give him fire. And cold tits emulsified soporific. I'm gonna give him yeah, fire. You've been sleeping. You've anyway, been sleeping it's a burglary through the at the Hamburg flower You're about shop. to get fired. A burglar, yeah? How dull. Man, at least we'll have enough time to get a drink afterwards. You seem awfully certain of that. I am. In fact, I'd bet the devil my head that we're done within the hour. Well, the devil's gonna be disappointed that his winnings are so meager. Ooh, got him. All right. I, I, I'm guessing. Okay, this game is like these. These are like detectives and stuff, and uh, like they do arrived. detective things. After you, Bill. Yeah, after you, Bill. All right, we outside. The city of a new, Bertang. B roll. Today, Junior. What the fuck that shit said? All right, let's get out here. All right, we had the hand, Handbrook Flower Shop here. Thank you. Keep the change. Yeah, keep the change. Oh, he said, "Yo, bet." Ye Zoom. And so our night of excitement begins. You more than anyone else should know that there's rarely a dull night. What is that jumping? person in the back doing? I have a feeling tonight will be the exception. Until we get to the pub, that is. Keep your mind on the case, Bill. Now let's get a move on. Yeah, this dude want a drink. You want you want a drink all day, G. It says left click to interact with objects. The mouse cursor sensitive. Looks like they've had some trouble with vandalism. Pretty much every business in this part of town has. Looks like they've had some trouble with vandalism. All right, we can go in the door now. Let's see. Let's Come knock. On, Bill. Hey, don't leave me out here, Bill. You're gonna get me shot, G. Charming little place, isn't it? Charming, but empty. We need to find the owner. Yeah, we're the owner. Hey, oh, so you, the you back there? If ever there was a better time to stop and smell the flowers. I think I'll leave that to you, Bill. With my allergies? Hardly. All right. Search this over Too here. Too many left. Seems business isn't so bad around here. Well, you know what they say. There are Half only three off. certainties in life. Death, taxes, and people taking advantage of sales. He, he, he's not right. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> this is quite the selection. Come over here and take a whiff, Bill. Sure, if you don't mind me getting snot all over your coat. Oh, no, not the Myers case all over again. On second thought, you can just stay over there. Yeah, stay over there, G. Go look at this Pris lice. These prices are pretty reasonable. The place I go in Worcester is clearly robbing me blind. If you think those are bad, don't go near the flower shops in Leon. <laughs> the staircase isn't very well lit. I'll go first. That way you can catch me if I fall. We should probably ask for permission before heading up there. Yeah, all right, um, hanging plants. Plants hanging on hooks, a nice space-saving method. I'd probably bang my head against them constantly if I had them in my apartment. Why would you do that? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna click the, we're gonna hit the bell right quick. Hey, you, you open like it? Oh, hello, gentlemen. 
I must say you caught me by surprise. I was preparing to close soon. May I help you find anything? The flowers in the center display are half price this week, and I have a special on chrysanthemums today. Chrysanthemums? I can't say that. a custom bouquet for the special ladies in your lives? I have no need myself, but uh, maybe Adelaide would appreciate a little something. Eh, Miles? Those peonies in the corner look nice. I'm afraid we're not here as customers tonight, ma'am. We'd like to have a word with the proprietor. Is he in? I see. I'm Cecilia Handbook, and this is my shop. What can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm Detective Miles Fordham, and this is my partner, William Legere. We received a report of a burglary at your store. A report? From whom? I never contacted the police before, <sighs> and I didn't some some dope. She saw him. It was made anonymously. <sighs> but are you saying this isn't the first time it's happened? Correct. It's happened three times. Three but times? considering the police hardly care about the daily muggings and vandalisms around here, I didn't think they would be interested in something so trivial. Well, we're here now, and we'll do all we can to help you. We'll have to see about that. If you wouldn't mind, Mrs. Hanbrook, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Very well, Detective. All right. We're going to add. Okay, so we'll, we'll ask her about have herself been in first. business long? Yes, I opened this shop 30 years ago, along with my late husband, David. But the past 10 years, I've been running things on my own. Don't what you feel well? unsafe well? being here by yourself so late into the night? Detective, when you've lived in this part of town as long as I have, it takes quite a lot to scare you. Yeah, she live in the hood, G. This granny don't play. She got the strap, and she's about to kill you, boy. Could you give me the details concerning the burglaries? About three weeks ago on Monday, I noticed that my order of Easter lilies was missing. At first, I thought nothing of it. Sometimes certain types of flowers are unavailable or arrive in poor condition. These things happen. Then two weeks ago on Wednesday, it happened again. But this time, I noticed something rather odd. Oh, is that right? When yeah, I opened on, the shop, there were six crowns and ten shillings on the counter. That's exactly the cost of two orders of lilies. Last Friday, it happened yet again. The lilies were missing, and there was payment for one order on the counter. I believe that someone has been breaking into my shop after hours, taking the lilies, and leaving money behind. How unusual. It's kind of weird. We got a case book upgrade. We, uh, update. Uh, let's see, um, suspicious Have people? Have you noticed any suspicious characters lurking around? Detective Fordham, this is Chumley. You can't throw a stone without hitting a suspicious character. And if you've noticed my window, you'd be aware that stones get thrown around quite a bit in this neighborhood. If you're looking for trouble, you're far more likely to find it out there than in here. I meant if you'd seen anyone out of the ordinary near your shop. Only the two men from the police who entered it tonight. That is most definitely out of the ordinary. Oh, okay. So what about the so payments? this burglar has been paying for the stolen goods? That would appear to be the case, yes. This, this is kind of weird. I really don't think this could even be considered a crime. That's one of the reasons I didn't bother reporting it to the police. And the other reasons? Oh, I think I've already made those quite clear, Detective. Is that right? What about the... What about the break in? Have you found any evidence of a break in? Yeah, have you found no, any? The front door is always locked. My assistant Trevor and I are the only ones with the key. We gotta talk to Trevor. Points of access to the building? The upstairs windows, I suppose, but I make sure to keep them locked, and neither of them have been broken. Would you allow us to have a look upstairs? <sighs> is that really necessary? I she, was just she about got some to close dope. up the shop. She got some dope It won't up take but a there. moment. Fine. I suppose you may, but please, don't dally too long. All right, we've got another objective added. All right. You mentioned your assistant has the other shop yeah. key. What can you tell me about him? His name is Trevor Hastings, and he has been working for me for the past 10 years. Do you trust him? Is that right? Is that right? I've known him for ages, and he has been my full-time assistant since shortly after my husband died. You're not suggesting he had anything to do with this, are you? Not at all. I would like to speak with him, though. Where might I find him? It's Friday, so he should be on his way back from the docks right now. Hmm. He'll be bringing hmm. my flower order within the hour. Good. We'll meet him here, then. If that's all right with you. I suppose I don't really have much of a choice, do I? 
No, you don't. You don't. I think that's all the information I need for now. All right, detective. All right, we're gonna head upstairs. We're not gonna. We're not gonna deal, Deli. All right, you better come behind me, boy. Don't leave me by myself. Interesting choice of decor in here. Perhaps it wasn't always used as a. She got some sneaky up I here. Can I understand know it. why it would have been converted. Yeah, it is rather drafty in here. Yeah, it's kind of drafty. Let's look at this window, G. We have that this fire escape. A means of escape from the top floor, or access to this window from the ground. No, but it, it's the window a, latch. It's, it's securely locked. locked. It's locked, G. We got a gap right here. There's a gap between the window and the frame here. No wonder it's so drafty in this room. Hmm. I wonder. What are you thinking, Fordham? That it's time for an experiment. I'm going to need a tool, however. Something long and thin should do the trick. Long and thin. Whoa, PG-13. Like Whoa. PG-13. All right, we got some clues added. All right, let's exit this. We'll look at the portraits. A young lady. Perhaps a relation of Mrs. Hambrook? I can see the resemblance. Sort, sort of. of. Okay, okay. We got this shelf Seems to look to be at. The broken pot storage area. Why not just throw them away, I wonder? It's likely they're going to be repaired. I noticed some faint cracks in some of the pots downstairs. Oh, okay, let's look at this device. I've seen this Which, type of device before. What is this? It's a special container for growing plants. Specific growing plants. Temperature and water conditions can be <laughs> growing plants. It seems to be empty right now, she, though. She got some dope in the box the dust, right It hasn't been used in a long time, if ever. It seems Mrs. Hanbrook isn't too fond of steam tech, or just doesn't understand it. Yeah, let's see what's in these crates. Unmarked, but if the smell is anything to go by, this is where the flowers are stored when delivered. I'll keep my distance then. Okay, okay. So, we look Pastoral at this painting over landscape. Here. Definitely nowhere near here. I've never much understood art, but it would be nice to see a place like that in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we can look at this large window here. I don't think this window would serve as a viable means of entry. It's a nice view, though. You can hardly see the vomit and manure piles on the street from up here. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to look at? We'll look at this heater here. I would imagine that keeping a consistent temperature in here is important for the flowers. When do you suppose this contraption was last serviced? Hard to say. Definitely not recently, if the dust buildup is any indication. All right, all right. Let's scope up the place. We got the shelf here. the broken pot storage area. Why not just throw them away, I wonder? It's likely they're going to be repaired. I noticed some faint cracks in some of the pots downstairs. All right, all right. Bill? What's going on, Miles? Hey, what's going on, Miles? What are you talking about? A gap in the window, window upstairs is intriguing. Do you think it might be the point of entry? Most Indeed. definitely. I just need to find something long and thin to confirm my theory. I think you were born with something like that, Miles. You're disgusting, Bill. You're, I know. You're disgusting, That's why but... I always do the dirty work. Ah ha ha. Okay, um, uh, let's see, um... Uh, the burglars? I've heard of honor among thieves. But have you ever known a thief to pay for stolen goods? Yeah, okay, never heard of Perhaps that. Perhaps conducting normal business is uh, just too boring for him. Do you think he might be doing it for the thrill? No, he might be there doing be it number because reasons. there's nobody the actually to coming to this place to buy the flowers. <sighs> All right, we're going to end this conversation. Let's get back to it. All right. Uh, let's get back to it, shall we? We're going to go downstairs now. All right, everybody. No, no, no. We'll, we'll talk to her before. Before we'll talk. I have to a her. few more questions for we, you, we Mrs. Got a, we got a few more Very questions. Very well, detective. If it will help you conclude your investigation faster. Oh, definitely it would. It will. Okay, but the upstairs window. Mrs. Hanbrook, were you aware that there's a gap in the frame of the small upstairs window? Is there? I only go up there to check that the window is locked. I've never noticed a gap. Are you suggesting that's how the burglar is entering the store? Maybe. It's a distinct possibility, but I have yet to figure out exactly how. Well, I trust you'll come to a satisfactory conclusion, Detective. I think that's all the information I need for now. All right, Detective. All right, Detective. All right, well... Mostly a bunch of fertilizer and growth tonics. 
Growth tonics, eh? Yeah. Plant growth tonics, Bill. Yeah, growth tonics. I knew that. No, he didn't know that. He didn't know that. All right, um, that's, that's all we sign up there. Let's see. It says private. Well, that's one mystery solved. Uh, you, you got jokes, G. You got jokes. All right, we're, we're gonna head out. We, we got things. We got things to do after you, boy. Bill, right, could I have a word? Yeah, can I have a word with you, G? What's on your mind, Fordham? Himself. Still feeling rough, Bill? Yes, but I'll feel better once this case is finished and we can go down to the Angel for a pint or four. This Tear dude, you alcoholic, medicine. bro. You alcoholic. No, man. What's your impression of dear old What's Mrs. your impression Hanley? on this boy? I like her. Good old-fashioned, tough-as-nails, chumly woman. Reminds me of my mother. Your mother was never quite so stubborn. Why do yeah. you suppose she's so reluctant to accept our help? It's a chum thing, Miles. You wouldn't understand. Let's get back to it. All right. All right, we're going to end it there. Something's really fishy with this granny up in here. Like, no, no police officers really can do anything because pretty much the burglar is giving the money but breaking in the premises, but giving them money. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Uh, if you want me, were you wait. actually going to do anything for them? Boy, I'm tr I'm trying to end the video, not talk to you. If if you want more of this video, and if you think this is interesting of a detective kind of game, just leave me your input in the comments down below. It's been your boy, Brahmin. Noodles out. That that was so corny. Cut, cut.